the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Today we're celebrating the memorial of St. Peter Damien. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may so follow the teaching and example of the Bishop St. Peter Damien, that putting nothing before Christ and always ardent in the service of your Church, we may be led to the joys of eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Sirach. My son, when you come to serve the Lord, stand in justice and fear Prepare yourself for trials. Be sincere of heart and steadfast. Incline your ear and receive the word of understanding, undisturbed in time of adversity. Wait on God with patience. Cling to him. Forsake him not. Thus will you be wise in all your ways. Accept whatever befalls you. When sorrowful, be steadfast. And in crushing misfortune, be patient. For in fire, gold and silver are tested, and worthy people in the crucible of humiliation. Trust God, and God will help you. Trust in him, and he will direct your way. Keep his fear and grow old therein. You who fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Turn not away lest you fall. You who fear the Lord, trust him, and your reward will not be lost. You who fear the Lord, hope for good things, for lasting joy and mercy. You who fear the Lord, love him, and your hearts will be enlightened. Study the generations long past and understand, has anyone hoped in the Lord and been disappointed? Has anyone persevered in his commandments and been forsaken? Has anyone called upon him and been rebuffed? Compassionate and merciful is the Lord. He forgives sins, he saves in time of trouble, and he is a protector to all who seek him in truth. The word of the Lord. Commit your life to the Lord, and he will help you. Commit your life to the Lord, and he will help you. Trust in the Lord, and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant your heart's requests. Commit your life to the Lord, and he will help you. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in an evil time. In days of famine, 
they have plenty. Commit your life to the Lord, and he will help you. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Commit your life to the Lord, and he will help you. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. Commit your life to the Lord, and he will help you. Alleluia, alleluia. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples left from there and began a journey through Galilee. But he did not wish anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples and telling them, The Son of Man is to be handed over to men, and they will kill him. And three days after, after his death, the Son of Man will rise. But they did not understand the saying, and they were afraid to question him. They came to Capernaum, and once inside the house, he began to ask them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they remained silent, for they had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest. Then he sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, If anyone wishes to be first, he shall be the last of all and the servant of all. Taking a child, he placed it in their midst and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. A really beautiful gospel. And there are a couple of things that just jump out at me that it's just so wonderful to see that these things were enshrined in the gospels. Especially just this, rea first this, this reality that the disciples, the twelve that Jesus had called to be close to him, they were arguing about who was the greatest. It's just, it's wonderful that that, 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 that was recorded and held, it's out, perpetually being held in memory. That forever, and it's, and it's still, of course, what Christians at times we struggle with for, for all sorts of different reasons. Will I be recognized by God? What is my place here in this world? You know, am I going to be forgotten? You know, all of those kinds of questions. That where, where do I fit in in the, in, the, in the hierarchy of God's plan? Those kinds of questions, they remain in our hearts. And Jesus here, of course, he's trying to heal that even in his disciples. And it, it's beautiful to see that part of the way he does it, this other beautiful thing that strikes me is Jesus bringing this child in front. And here, the, this little child, you know, if, if you receive this one, you are receiving me and the one who sent me. It's just, uh, it's just beautiful to, to see all, all of this interaction. And of course, it, it, re, it reminds us that, that our way of growing in God is greater dependence and, of course, also a, a greater embrace of our, of our littleness and, of, and of, of humility. Just as, as I was praying over the scriptures today, of course, the image of Mary came forward, who is, if we were going to name a hierarchy, is the greatest in heaven, the, the queen of heaven and earth, you know, the, the one who um, 
has become the mother of all of the living. But beautifully, in the world, she was the least. So a small and forgotten, least in that way, small and forgotten by the world, but also least in the sense that she said her yes was complete. It was filled with trust of God. And she held nothing back for herself. There, there was nothing of her in her yes. It was just yes to the Holy Spirit always. In the eyes of the world, her mission also was nothing. It was to take care of one child. You think of you know the, the people of the world who, who think of power and might, of, that they would leave that kind of a mission behind. It would be beneath them. But this was her one mission, to take care of this little child. And it was through that, through that great yes, her confidence in, in, in God the Father, that she became the mother of all the living. You know, this, this, it's, but it's what God has done in her. It reveals God's goodness, the way that he carries it. It's he who gives us our place in the world. And he is good, and we can trust that. And, and he, we may not have the same place as Mary, of course, none of us will. But the Lord has something beautiful and powerful in mind for every single one of us, it, this incredible dream for us. And we're, we're in a way, we're invited to be with Mary, to say yes all the way. Let God handle the place that we are given. And it is good. Of course, it's a place of service, a place of laying our life down. But it has nothing to do with our, with our worldly ego, but it's all with allowing God to do his work within us. Let's stand together and offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. That the Holy Spirit may guide the church in continuing to serve Christ through the poor and lowly of this world. We pray to the Lord. That world leaders may be inspired by Christ to be servants of all and serve those on the fringes of society. We pray to the Lord. That those who cannot practice their faith openly may be upheld and strengthened through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, we may seek opportunities to help those in need in our time through, through, our, through our gifts. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of those who have gone before us in faith, especially for the repose of the soul of Emmett Dennehy, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they receive God's mercy and everlasting joy in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, hear these and all the prayers we hold within our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of hum fruit, of, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
which we gladly present on the feast day of Blessed Peter Damien, O oh God, you in praise through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your holy gifts which we have received fill us with life, O Lord, so that we who rejoice in commemorating Blessed Peter Damien may also profit from his example of apostolic virtue through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.